Good morning. Thank you again for allowing me to just sit down and share the Bible with you for a minute. Now, it's Father's Day Sunday, all day this morning at 7 30, 10, and 12 30 out at East. I'm going to be preaching on six things every father needs to say to his children. And then at three o'clock service, we've got the great final concert of Blanca. We'll look forward to seeing you today. Right now, I want us to go back to the book of Acts chapter 10 and just pull out a couple of verses. First of all, if you look at verse 33, Cornelius says, so I sent for you immediately and it is good of you to come. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. So they came to listen. Peter begins to preach a sermon to them. And then you get down to verse 44, while Peter was still speaking. Now notice, Peter's still preaching his sermon. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. They heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Now, brothers and sisters, I call this the Holy Spirit interruption. And Holy Spirit interruptions are not out of order. Many years ago, when a great revival swept the world, I can remember how many preachers, in fact, me included, said, this is out of order. I mean, you know, when the sermon is being preached, people need to respect the Word of God. And then I read this passage of Scripture and realized, you know what? It's Jesus' church, and if He wants to pour out the Holy Ghost, He can pour out the Holy Ghost anytime He wants to. In the middle of the sermon, the Holy Ghost was poured out and these people were baptized in the Holy Ghost and began to worship and praise God and speak in other tongues. It's called the Holy Ghost interruption. So sometimes you and I, we get settled into a little religious way of doing things and we have to back up a little bit and realize we're wrong. It's his church. When he does things, it's always in order. 